So here's something interesting. South Africa registers on average 100,000 plus marriages every single year. To be more exact, 111,415 marriages were registered in total in 2021. Now, if you break down these 100,000 plus weddings in South Africa, we find that Gauteng and KZN are considered the highest provinces to have registered civil marriages. Gauteng registered around 26,522 marriages. Gauteng isn't just for business after all. KZN registers around 17,253 civil marriages a year and then followed by the Western Province in third, they get around 16,150 marriages every single year. Well, roughly. The Northern Cape is the lowest at 3,198 weddings. Also take into consideration that these are average numbers, but the trend is generally down when you look at the year of 2012 where South Africa registered a total of 161,112 civil marriages. With the average wedding cost being around 250,000 to 350,000 rand, the South African wedding economy is worth around 25 plus billion rand every single year. Goodness me, that's a hell of a lot of I do's. Now, in terms of customary marriages, 2,676 customary marriages were registered at the Department of Home Affairs in 2021, compared to the 1,585 in 2020. The thing is, you're more likely to be married in Limpopo at 18 marriages for every 100,000 people, followed by Mpumalanga with 11 people, then it's KwaZulu-Natal at 9 marriages for every 100,000 people. So now you know which provinces to go to if you're craving a walk down the aisle or my lumes at your gate. In contrast to customary marriages, the number of civil unions registered in South Africa increased by 52.3% in 2021. There were 2,240 marriages registered in 2021 compared to the 1,471 that were registered in 2020. The lockdowns did a number on everybody. Civil unions are almost non-existent in Limpopo. So now that I've given you a better understanding on the overview and the types of weddings that take place in South Africa, we need to talk about how much weddings really cost. Also, why they cost this much. Now, according to various articles, the average cost of a wedding in South Africa is between 250,000 Rand to 350,000 Rand. Also take into consideration that if you're African, there's also going to be an extra cost of about 80 to 100,000 Rand for other ceremonies like welcoming of the bride. And in this, we're also going to assume that the bride gifting ceremonies would have been done or included as well as the groom's family and vice versa. In fact, while we're still here, let's address the elephant in the room, Lobola. When JLo said love don't cost a thing, she'd clearly never been to Africa and neither did she know about Ilobola. For years, the cost of Lobola, also known as the bride price, has been a hot topic amongst older people, younger people, and us millennials, and in many African communities. Now, Ilobola is the customary exchange between two families to seal the union between a husband and a wife, and it's practiced in many African cultures. Traditionally, the Lobola amount was quantified in livestock, but that has since changed. Africans don't own that much farmland. Now, in more modern day society, actual cash is used with each cattle being assigned a monetary value. While the price of the lobola is determined at a family's discretion, amounts from a range of people asked discreetly, of course, because you're not actually supposed to know how much was paid because humans can't be bought and sold. These amounts range from 25,000 Rand to around 50,000 Rand on average. However, the fee can get up to 100,000 Rand and even beyond, depending on what the prospective spouses have to bring to the table. There's the table discussion again. Okay, but then and now you'll hear of a bride price that tops 200,000 Rand plus, but then you just know that the guy and his family aren't really worried about inflation or the cost of living. They can pretty much afford. Just like with any typical negotiation, various factors are considered when discussing the suitable number of cows required in exchange for a daughter's hand in marriage. According to the cultural experts or people that know, a prospective wife without children but within childbearing age is usually deemed worthier or worth more cows. 
In modern day Mzansi, educational qualifications, career success, and also wealth accumulated before marriage can also tip the scales, driving up the lobola amount. But that also makes me wonder, then what about the groom's education, wealth, and okay, no, I don't want to, I don't want to go down that road. Before this gets culturally stressful and super complicated, let's get back to the cost of a wedding. Actually, before that, let us know in the comments, what is a fair Lobola negotiation price in your view? In your view, or ones that you've heard of? You don't have to name the people, just let us know in the comments. So when it comes to the average cost of a wedding from various sources in South Africa, they've told us that it lands between 250 to 350,000 Rand for a decent wedding that's Instagrammable. I'm playing again. I'm, I'm honestly, am I? Do weddings have to be Instagramable? I don't know. Let us know. It goes without saying that your venue and catering will take up the most of your budget. And this is 100% normal, apparently, regardless of which city you get married in. Because things suddenly start costing more when you say wedding. Your photographer and videography crew and all of these lights and cameras and everything, they're going to come in quite close after this eventing and catering amount. Because obviously you want to keep those memories and capture them properly. You don't want to skimp on this. Also, how will you relive your wedding if the pics are blurry? Yeah, think about it. Based off these items, you're already well over 100,000 Rand. What is left to consider is music or entertainment, right? A bar, deco, floral. I also don't know why floral arrangements cost that much. Please let us know why flowers cost that much. Then you're gonna have to add the cake, the staff, the attire for the bride, the groom and their parties, hair, makeup, it's a lot. But if you obviously want a Oscar MBO because he's not more anymore, he's going to cost you a lot more and he's going to put you out of budget. But you could also get DJ Smangaliso who DJs around your local area. He's going to cost a little bit less. Now, once all of this has been organized and tallied up, it's possible for your costs to be sitting at around 250 to 350,000 Rand which most organizers would agree is the average cost of a wedding in South Africa. More often than not, you'll find that you and your significant other are both working people and like, well, you're going to need to be working to be paying 350k for this type of stuff. You're also going to need a wedding planner. Now, this can't be your aunt who organizes church events. It's going to be a professional wedding planner and professionals cost money. The cost of hiring a wedding planner in South Africa can vary widely based on several factors. This includes things like the planner's experience, whether their name is precious, the complexity of the wedding, the level of service required, and the location of the wedding. On average, you can expect to pay anywhere from 10,000 Rand, not precious, to 50,000 Rand, likely still not precious, or more, likely precious, for services of a wedding planner in South Africa. So you're chasing 400,000 Rand plus easily when all of these are in. All these things are part and parcel of now and how weddings are celebrated. But there is a growing trend of courthouse weddings. Now, these are wedding ceremonies in South Africa that are actually taking place at offices of the Department of Home Affairs. I know a few people that have done this. Way cheaper. These weddings are civil ceremonies. That is, they have no religious component and are conducted by a marriage officer duly authorized by the department. All you need to do is bring your receipt from the department which confirms that you have a booking, two ID photos, you and your spouse obviously need to be there, your green barcoded ID, I don't know who still does that, but yes, that too. And you only need to pay like 75 Rand or 75 to 150 Rand, depending on how many marriage certificates you want to print out. Look, whatever your stroke is, do that for yourself, but know that your marriage could cost between 75 Rand or 500,000 Rand. So choose the person wisely. So what are your feelings around the wedding economy and frankly, it's ludicrous costs? Let us know in the comments. Precious is also waiting for your call. Thank you for watching this video up until this point. We hope it was just as interesting because it really freaked everybody out at the office. It was just as interesting to make for us as it was for you to watch. Check out one of these other videos and we hope they'll be just as interesting and less scarier than this one. Cheers.